cover sin. Your cross cannot cover nothing I've done. Scares you away. You are not shaken by complicated, fragile hearts, and your hands are safe. You came when I was broken. You loved me through all of my failures. You gave when I had nothing to give. Welcome, Meredith and Abby. Good to have you guys. Thanks for jumping on with us. Yeah, yes, thanks for having us. <laughs> now, Meredith, I think you're in Atlanta. Abby, you're in Dallas. Is that right? Yes. All yeah. over, all the time. Wow. So I'm, <laughs> I'm in Nashville, so we got like all of the major music, southern music cities represented here, right? Yes, we do. <laughs> Well, I'm so excited to talk about this song. Uh, and Meredith, these songs are so good. Just congratulations on an amazing album. And um, it's just been been so amazing to hear these songs and to help get these songs out to the church. But this song is super special. When, when we first started hearing music, this was one that we circled. Um, it's just a favorite of all of our team, a song called You Gave. And I love what the song says, but I'd love to hear just your thoughts. Meredith, just tell me about the song and what inspired you and Abby to write it. 
Yeah. I mean, I think I started with a, a little piece of something and like a little piece of a, um, you know, just like a phrase, you know, and I remember having Abby come over and we just started talking through the song of just like, and I think that was even before like cancel culture was super big right then, you know, it was like, we were just talking about, man, you know, when you're in your mess and you feel real ugly and it's like, you feel like everybody wants to just disassociate with you, you know, you just feel that way. Whenever you're going through stuff, it's like, "Ah, I'm a mess and nobody wants to. And just thinking about how powerful it was that Jesus in the midst of our mess is not only not ashamed of us Mm -hmm. and not like worried about his own reputation to meet with us in the middle of our mess, you know? And so I remember us just like sitting on the floor in my little back studio and just talking about, you know, how powerful that is that Jesus would stoop down to our mess at our level, not ashamed to be near to us and not afraid. And then, and say, I'm going to take it for you. Like, and I'm going to give to you even whenever you've got nothing, you know, cause we always want to give something back. You know, mm-hmm. if somebody's giving something, you always want to feel like you can get, and it's like the only time where I felt like, man, you know, when you're going through it to have somebody who's like, I'm going to give to you, even you, though you can't give anything back is one yeah. of the most amazing feelings. So I just remember us talking through all that and that just led us to the bridge. I mean, I just remember sitting together and, and just writing like, golly, like how beautiful are the feet, you know, it's that, it's that when you realize what you've been saved from and you realize who saved you, you know, to be able to like run, you know, and, and just like fall at the feet, not caring who sees you either, you know, like at that point, cause he's done that for you. It's like, you walk into a banquet that you've not been invited to and pour out at his feet. And so it was just one of those moments. I remember thinking, golly, that, that bridge, we just wanted to sing over and over again. Yes. Uh-huh. And Abby, I love this song because it just reminds me so much of just the gospel. You know, the, the scripture says that while we were still sinners, that Christ died for us. And it reminds me in, of my state. But even more than that, it's such a statement on the grace of God and just yeah. his loving kindness toward us. And I just think about that and, and singing that as a church, just reminding all of us in a congregation that it's like, man, this is what. God did for us. We didn't seek him out. He actually sought us out. He chased us down. So yeah. and I love that message. Yeah. Even uh, what you were saying about while we were still sinners, that always gets me. And there's a line in the song kind of also back to what Meredith was sharing, just how he comes to us in our mess. There's a line in the second verse that says, you didn't say come when you're perfect. Mm. What is the next line? You never said, come when you're perfect. You step down to earth in the mess of it all. You're not afraid of what it might look like. You run to me and hold me in front of them all. And even like the scandal of that, like whatever the mess may be, I have a lot of examples of my own, but whatever the mess is, he actually meets you within it. Like he doesn't ask you to like get your act together first he actually like comes and like, even in front of a crowd of people, he would own you, you know, like he would say, she's mine. Even while I was a sinner, that's what gets me is like, I don't know. I think, I think American Christian culture specifically, we have this thing of like, there's just stigmas of like, you have to have your act together. You got to like be presentable, even like the way we dress when we go to church, like there's just all these cultural norms that a lot of them are unspoken but the gist is you gotta just like be presentable and it's actually the opposite of the gospel the gospel is he came while we were sinners Mm -hmm. in the midst of our sin (laughs) and owned us yeah like said they're mine so anyway it's super powerful you know and it's so so funny because you know, writing this song, you know, I can remember times that he's met me in that way, but it's funny because I feel like sometimes songs are become anchors in different seasons that you don't even expect. And I feel like not that long ago, I feel like there was just a time where I was just like, you know, I feel like I'm failing at this. and I feel like I'm failing at that. And like, needed to like, was in one of those moments where, you know, as a leader, I know all the right things to say, and I know all the right things to do, you know? 
And, and I felt like, but Lord, I need a savior in this. Like, I don't physically feel like I know I can do all the right things in the sense of like, praise my way out of it. And I'm going to mm-hmm. do all that. You know, it's like, I was like, I just need a savior. And it's like, that's where he met me. And I felt like that song actually recently, even though we wrote it a long time ago, became even more personal recently. And we changed it at that point, instead of like, you came, you came when we were broken or whatever else, I, we made it real personal. It's like, you came when I was broken. You came when, you know, in my failure, you know, because it's the more personal we make it, the more personal our praise becomes, the more intimate it is, you know, because it's like, and that's what we're looking for is just that real intimate relationship with Jesus. Yeah. Because he so intimately came and saved us so personally, you know, so it really is that man, when you can encounter him within that, it's just like, you get that salvation, you know, it's restored to me, the joy of my salvation all over again. And I felt like he showed me that in that season in this song came alive all over again, you know? Yeah. Well, it's such a beautiful song and I really appreciate you guys jumping on to talk to us about it. And it's just super exciting that uh, the church has this song. They're able to sing this for the congregation. So thank you both for making the time to jump on and talk about it. Yes, yeah. always. Thank you for having us. How beautiful are the feet of the man.